So you have type 2 diabetes under an underactive thyroid. Okay, okay. Uh, not for you, but for us. And she's on liver thyroid. Um, <coughs> the, problem, yeah, the problem with Michelle that Left shoulder. Okay, and Michelle okay. And, and raising it. Okay. And and I'm tired and tired no energy. Yeah. Insomnia due to heat. So I don't sleep very well because I, I don't sweat at night, but I burn up and, and I'm okay. there. I, I just I feel hot, very hot. Always your whole life? No. For the last maybe two, three years. Is that related to your menopausal issues? I don't, I don't, I don't, just asking. I don't know because I, I I don't have any periods anymore because I had an ablation because I had um, severe anemia, so I had an ablation. No, 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 excuse me. <laughs> you, you had, I'm assuming, you had a fibroid that caused a lot of bleeding, therefore they said, you're getting anemia from too much bleeding, let's get rid of the fibroid, and they did the ablation. I mean, oh, I no know. one gets an ablation, no, 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 sorry, no <laughs> one gets an ablation because they're, they're anemic. No, no I, that's not a method of, of giving you more blood. <laughs> that's a whole new phenomenon. I had a baby in August and okay. I was still bleeding the following April. So I never ah, stopped okay. bleeding. Um, and, and, oh. and from there I ended up with anemia. Gotcha. Okay, so may not have been a fibroid, but may. Okay, so, okay. Because often it's, it's the, there's a fibroid in that, so women say they they did this, but they don't know they don't tell you why. Yeah, that's you know, true. It's like, I need to know why the ablation <laughs> is not the problem. The problem is what? Okay, okay, got yeah. it. And your Achilles? I, I have um, uh, a yes, I see that. And I'm putting my foot to the floor on the morning. Hurts. Like I've been sat, sat for a while. It hurts. Okay, you'll so be lying down, so we'll be able to test it. Yeah. Okay, and a um, waist. Too far, too long shoes. Okay, no, it's all really time. Yeah. You have sciatica recurred since. This is previous issue. So yeah. I had, yeah, so I had, I've had a couple of bouts of sciatica for which I've received acupuncture. Okay, which side? Um, down my left side. Your left side, which yeah. is the side, not the side no, of the bone. Okay, side. I just want to check. Yeah. And you had whiplash. Yes. Any pain in the neck? No, I'm not saying. So I, have, I have the acupuncture and um, okay. yeah, things. Um, okay. And back problems? Yeah, ongoing back problems since having my first child when I was um, about 27. Um, it, not all the time, but when it, it, when it goes, um, I sort of go to one side. Um, mm -hmm. And there again, I've had acupuncture for that um, to release, okay. release, release that. And then there's the anemia. Where are you considered no bleeding since 2014? Because of the um, ablation that I had. When, did you, when was the ch when you was, wait, wait, okay. So I don't know whether I'm in the menopause or not. I don't know how I know that. I, I, I don't bleed anymore. I've yeah. got blood but I, I, I'm, I'm just a little bit confused. Oh, okay, wait, wait. It makes it sound like as if you had the ablation in 2014, but that's not what you're saying. You're saying you stopped bleeding. In 2014, you stopped bleeding. I, but the ablation was how many years ago? Um, 2014. That's when I, I've not bled since. Ablation of what? My what you took you just not connected to the birth of the child. No, late, much later no, on. No, yeah. Because I'd had such heavy That's what I was saying. She had a, a child at age twenty seven <laughs> and oh, that no, was that's two thousand fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've got three. Three boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, How old do you know if you're like fifty three? Fifty three. Uh hang over well, no. Hay fever, not the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from, at age, from age 13, still have hay fever. Yes. Asthma since 21 years. Yeah. And what does it say? It's slight now. It's slight. Not, slight. Yeah, very, very, very. Father died at age 59 with breast cancer. Bre Father had breast cancer. Yes. Cool, unusual. Okay. Grandparents, type, three of the grandparents from both sides have diabetes, late onset. As well as three of them have dementia and Alzheimer's. And mother, Mom's still alive. 84 years old, has AF. Atrial fibrillation. A okay, gotcha. Type 2 diabetes. Okay, you have diabetes from all sides, in other words. Okay. Yeah. Heart failure, skin cancer. Oh, oh my. Okay, so diabetes, left shoulder, insomnia, she's hot at night, possibly for hot flashes, the Achilles thing. There's the sciatica on the left side, and some back problems, and are you still anemic? No. Okay. 
No, you're not tired, you're not, well, you are tired, you have no yes. energy. <laughs> so, but officially you're not. Um, anyway, no, please. no, no, for a few years now. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. put you on the table to see what we can do. Can I ask what medication she's taking? Are you taking any? Level of thyroxine and probably thyroid. Is there anything? No. Okay, so it's only if you take take it to the to the side. Yes. So so already by by there. It's okay. Good enough. Good enough. Sometimes they do weird things and then they the navel because it's it's like the interesting shape, right? You know, so it's it's a little bit of unusual shape. That's why I was asking. Maybe they did something weird. One of the C sections trying to re redo something in the body. Okay. So anything here or here or red. Left ribs, right ribs, but very cold abdomen, especially the top. How's your digestion? Um, I do sometimes think I might suffer from IBS. Because? Um, because I can not go to the toilet for two days, but then I would go three, four times that day, and it would be you know, explosive. Whoosh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No cramps. Um, not until immediately before. Gotcha. So one of those people with no abdominal findings, but really cold, I mean, really, really cold up here, no, and fairly warm below us, but the navel itself is cold, okay? So some sort of bad circulation, okay? Um, relax, don't, don't do anything. Any discomfort here? No. No. I'm checking small intestine 11. No. How about inner border of the scapula? No. No. Sciatica is left leg, right? Yes. Oh. One, two, three. Nothing? How about checking around the stomach line more carefully? No? No. One, two, three. Yes, uh, the, the last one. one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Four. No. One, two, three. No. All right. So, and the pain when you lift the arm is where? It's really in, it's inside. Okay. In, I'm sorry, in there. Okay. If I press, I'm not producing. In, in that, oh, that one. I am producing. Yes. So, yes. large chest is 16. Definitely produces something, but nothing else. No. Okay. Only large to yes. sixteen. Okay. Fine. Your sciatica. Relax, relax, relax. Any? No. No. Okay. It's this side, right? Yes. Okay. Relax. Don't worry. Don't. If I press, is there any pain? No. No. Now, so, uh, someone asked me yesterday about these different types and observing them and stuff. When you look at her, she is more of a liver type than a spleen type. Yes, she, she, the kind that tends to be more round here, rather, I mean, so, you know, she's not like rounded butt. She's rounded butt belly. Okay, plus, can you, you see how the, the, the toes are held up a little bit? 
oh, yeah. especially this side. Yeah. That tends to be contract. It's a contracture of a tendon, therefore it's a little. Mm -hmm. So, any discomfort here? No. No. Here. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So interesting. This this side liver channel shows it more, and it also shows it more on, in terms of the um, the, the pulling of the ligament. Okay. Um, okay. So we have to deal with. We don't have a lot to work with in terms of signs. We have a liver two pain here. Mm -hmm. We have the medical history, we have a diabetes and the thyroid, but in terms of findings, basically we have one little finding here, right? Yeah. So on the SCM. And the larger, yeah, SCM, yeah. lower SCM, yeah. Yes. Which okay. represents, let's call it the thyroid. We have the large intestine 16, and we have the liver two. That's pretty much all we have. So, let's see what we can extract out of you know, so... so the, what about the uterus, I'm sorry, that if she had a brain... Did she have? Oh, no, yeah, okay. oh okay, I'm sorry. Uterus, ovary, uterus, ovary, no. no ovary. We'll check in the, um, the C-section skull. I checked. Oh, you have nothing. That was okay. the first thing I checked. Okay, yeah. Because, you know, because I saw that that was... Okay. Yeah. So, and we know that there's coldness here. Let's start... Yeah, go. One of the reasons possibly that her abdomen doesn't show, believe it or not, I was coming here for under the ribs, and I'm like, where's the rib? <laughs> the rib is here. She's one of those people who has, the ribs are going this way, they're not going down very much, which means she has a huge amount of space in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's a little unusual. Mm -hmm. you know, most people, would, would, they, you know, some people's ribs are really going like this, and there's no space in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. okay. She, her um, structure allows for a lot of space in the abdomen, therefore, you're not going to find, it makes sense that you don't find a lot of findings because there's nothing congesting the tissue, compacting yeah. the tissue, you know, so it doesn't show as easily, okay? So that, that's why it might be one of the reasons why, you know, you press in nothing, you know, it's, you know, so it's okay. We'll work with what we have and we'll see what we can do, okay? So you have discomfort here yes. and discomfort here, yeah. right? Spleen three. How is discomfort in the shoulder? It's gone. It's gone, okay. And how is discomfort in the neck? Uh, yeah, I can still feel it. It's not major. Okay, so it's better? Yeah. Okay, next. Let's find which point, which kidney point we need to do. Go for this one. Okay. Hi, how's now? Yeah, that's good. That's gone? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> It's kidney seven, because I, I need, it's, it's, the kidney seven is both for the thyroid and for the diabetes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you didn't have any pain here, right? Yeah. You couldn't produce that. Uh, oh, there's the liver two thing. Okay. When I press on the, here you said there's something, right? Yeah. I know I need liver, liver eight and liver four, but just to verify, which if, if this kidney seven does a good job, then it's, I, I feel confident that I have the right kidney point. Hi, how's now? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay yeah. good. So I'm confident maybe there's a better kidney point, but this one is as good as it gets. It fixes what it's supposed to fix, and it fixes things it's not supposed to fix. Okay, so it's good. It's going to have to be good enough. <laughs> so. Just against the arm. Yes, in a second. Oh, yeah. Um. The lift of the arm with kidney seven is not fair. I'll tell you why. Anything here? Compare the two sides. A little bit more here, isn't it? Yes, then. Yes, okay. yes. Because lifting the arm often relates to gallbladder 26. How is now? I can still feel it. Is it not, not better at all? Uh, slightly, but I can still feel it. No. Yeah. That's better. That's better, okay. Go ahead and do the arm. I can get further, but it's still hurting. Okay, 
let hold on, let go. Okay, now I'll do it. Still, uh, Tim, when I get to the farthest. Okay, my um, question is, is this better than it was two seconds ago? Yes. Okay, so adding, I pressing one more point, in other words, I was just want to know which one does. Okay. Yeah. Let's get, let's get our started in there. Was that the that you were doing? No, that was spleen three. Oh. This is, you know, she comes with this, with a perfect, she's the perfect candidate to do the protocols. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, she's got diabetes, she's got thyroid, she's got everything you want for, for just following the, you know, because, well, that, that slides up. You know, she, she has two types that takes precedent, and they happen to coincide in terms of the kidney. Yeah. So it would be kind of stupid for me not to first do the protocol. Okay. Was all the one the diabetes? Sorry? OD. OD would be part of it, yes. Would you check it against Would I check it against the arm or something? Yes, yes, I would. So, spleen 3, kidney 7 in her case, plus 27. plus immune plus OD, okay? And then we've basically done our thyroid and diabetes. How are we doing here? It's still there, but not as sharp as... Mm -hmm. Okay. How's now? Better. Yeah, How much is left? Not much at all. Okay. Oh, In, did that hold? Uh, I can still feel it slightly on the top. Slightly on the top. Yeah. Spleen 3 didn't do it. Okay, so there's something. Spleen 3 should have released OD. Uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Okay. How's now? Okay, good. Is it still okay? Yes. Good. Lift the arm. Still at the furthest point it hurts. Okay, let yeah. go. How much better is it at this point from when we started? Uh, lots better, yeah. I don't think I could have got that far across. Okay, fair enough. Hold that. Let's lift her up a bit. So, inner... That's my only explanation why inner yin seems to work for all sorts of weird things. Okay. Okay, lift the arm again. Sorry about the ignore the size. The same place, just as I get out. And the same amount of pain? Yes. Okay, let go. How about GB26? Uh, yes, yes, I still have to do that. Yes. Um, just want to see if, before I use that, if I have something else that I need to check. Is it in the you can make anything you want up, but it, I, it's not familiar to you. You haven't shared it with me yet, so I can't. I can't. I am not familiar with that one. Okay, go ahead and do the arm. Still at the furthest point, perhaps a bit better. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax. Now, 
So this is, you know, like this is the cap of the head. You can say if the cap can be very small, so we're talking about Sichuan si si Song, the cap can be fairly large, but it can be here. Because you can't put a cap, in, you know, it has to be at the top of the head somewhere. Mm -hmm. But it's very clearly not do 20. Because if they wanted to say do 20 is a, is a point on the sea of, uh, of the sea of Mara, they would, have, you, you, they would have said it by name because the name by way appears in the lecture. It's not like it's, an, it's a later name. 
but they, they describe it as on the edge of the cap. So, uh, just once more with the arm, and then we will go. So you don't need to build the middle arm, you can be anywhere. Uh, no, I, I, in fact, I would, well, it can be in the midline, but not under 20, because yes. the cap, unless you wear your cap, like, all the way back here, and all, all the way in the front, and then it's the edge of the cap. The, the assumption is, enough, 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 what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Um, loads better. Loads better. But still, okay, okay. The same we still have, we still have opportunities. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the cap can be this big, the cap can be this big, but it can't be right at the center because then there's no cap. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, there has to be, it has to be somewhat away from the center of the top of the vertex. It just can't, it can't be on there because otherwise there's no cap. So 220 is just not very clearly out of the equation. So did you do gallbladder 26? Did you do diameter? I did do gallbladder 26, yes. And I could have done more than one, but I didn't. All right, let's have you sit up and see how you feel. Fine? Yeah? All right, anything you'd like to check? So it's a little hard. Yes. It's hard for you to figure it out. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's. I'd like to turn her over, and then we can take you. So let's finish the lecture again. Um, of course. Can we start just saying she's a more liver person? Liver ink. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me. I forgot. You're right. <laughs> we started and we never finished. <laughs> So spleen types carry weight on their hips. And liver, liver types, liver types carry, carry it around their waist. And so what would a heart type be? <laughs> I don't have a physiognomy. <laughs> no physiology for heart types yeah, yeah. or lung? The no, no, no. It's just, it's just the difference just between those two. the liver and the spleen types. It's, it's, I, I don't have other. Uh, liver four and eight, because she had liver, liver two. two. Yeah. Okay, so Sanjo eight, we talked about, and you can call it Sanjo nine if you want. I really don't care which name you want to give it because it, because it's one third below the elbow, it's above above eight and it's above nine. So it really doesn't matter. You know. It's just by name. You, if, because it's, it's related to the autonomic nervous system, it releases the SCL. You can look at, the, at how you want to call this, name, this point. If you use the name for Sanjiao 8, it's the Lua of the three young. Okay? So for me, that name makes Sanjiao 8, the name makes more sense. The young Lua therefore relates to the autonomic nervous system. You're relaxing the nervous system the tightness, the youngness of the nervous system you're relaxing. You can also argue that the four, it's, you know, if you really want to make it work, it's going to have to be the four seas as opposed to the four ditches, okay, or the four rivers. China is defined by four rivers, okay? Therefore, it suggests vastness, okay? But this is kind of like a gutter. So that's why I don't think Sanjiao 9, the name, makes sense. If they called it a river, I would go for it, but with a gutter, so sorry, it doesn't match. But the idea is that you can say Sanja 9 connotes also the, the full vastness of the space, okay? In the same way that the three young connections allow you to open up the tightness of the arm. But the point is that what it does is it releases the SCM, releases opposite side of, um, opposite side of SCM, releases the cervical is the same side, and therefore smooths out, creates space for the nervous system, calms down the young tightness of the nervous system. It's a point I use lots and lots and lots. 
The other sort of less common use of it is um, with spleen 7, it's used for ear infections. Okay? Or someone who's had ear infections as a child. Okay? So, pericardium 4, okay, so. Um, basically, this is the main point of, for me, it's the main point of pericardium channel. And you can see that there's a dip here. We're not talking about the pericardium 4, that's whatever, 5 and above, whatever, whatever the official. We're talking about something that's 3 things. And you can literally see that there's a dip here. Now, if you go further on this, okay, I wanted to show you that there is a try involved in that. These pictures don't come for, out very well on, on this, unfortunately. Um, so it's hard to see, but you can actually see his pericardium 4. Okay? And maybe on the top, like that. On one, here, here he's a one hand. Yeah, it doesn't come so well, but when you're standing on your hand, you can really see this dip. Okay. No, in other words, when you're sitting, yeah, I know none of us do this. This is silly. I used to, but not anymore. You used to be able to do that. Is that you? Not one handed, no. No, I don't do one hand. I never did one handed yeah. handstands. That was not my. I did do a lot of handstanding. Really? I don't think my patients could do that. Hmm? I don't think I can get all my patients to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's to show you why, in my opinion, the pericardium has a try to it. Okay? And because you're only going to get it if you're lifting up. All you have to do, okay, you just have to go into downward dog and you can feel it. Now, the lung has a certain amount of it also. Oops, oh, okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's why I'm showing you that even that in the same way that pericardium one has this capacity to push in the shoulder blades out, and then you get pericardium one. That the, the capacity of the arm is related highly to pericardium. Okay, and pericardium four, of course, it's for autonomic nervous system. It's also blood supply to the abdomen. But just to kind of look at how come. You know, if I'm looking at my clinic, if I'm looking at what am I using on the arm, it's, good, it's going to be immune and Sancho 8, and it's going to be pericardium 4. And yes, I will use lung 5 and lung 8, etc. but how come I'm using so much more of the lung? And also, very interesting question, how come there is supposedly no heart channel in ancient times? Mm. Supposedly. It's very weird, because in the link show it mentions the heart, channel, and yet we say there's no heart, I mean, it's very odd, it's a very weird argument about was there a heart channel, what's wrong. In my opinion, the, the lung and the heart are involved in the try, in the pushing. The heart is not, and I think that's why it's easy to ignore it, because there is no, you know, with the legs, they're all, they all have to be involved, but with the arm, you know, if you just go into downward dog, and if you try to just activate the heart channel, you will fall. Because you'll end, you, you know, you'll basically end up. If I'm just, if you do this, you you can't, you know, you've got to, to plant the lung channel and activate the lung and the pericardium. Otherwise, if you're here, you can't really straighten your arm. Okay? You have to. The push has to come from the lung and the pericardium channel. It can't happen from somewhere else. Okay. So that's why I think maybe. It wasn't, this part wasn't so important because it's physically not so interesting, <laughs> you know. So they went, oh, okay, oh, we need a heart channel because we need six divisions. We'll put, we'll put it here. We have nowhere else to put it. Well, why didn't they just call that the heart channel? Why didn't, they, why didn't they just call the pericardium the heart channel? Some places, in some places it is considered the heart channel. It's still considered Jui Yin. I mean, the problem with the channels is that they are... They're not always, in some places they're called with the organ as associated. In some places, they're only called as arm chui yin. Okay, so I don't, I don't know. I think, you know, a lot of these things, they're, they're you know, we're looking at the link show and we're assuming it was written by, you know, we know it was compiled, but somehow we treat it as if it was, co it was compiled by one person or written by one person, and it's all supposed to make sense together. It doesn't. No one reads the Ling Shu or the Suwen from beginning to end. Okay, so, I mean, everybody reads a few lines, tries to make sense of it, and then you can correlate, but nobody reads it like you go to bed and, I, oh, I finished chapter 81, I think I'll move on to my next <laughs> book. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, it's, it makes you feel better. You know, <laughs> You're lucky if you finish one chapter in a lifetime. You know. So the, pro the problem is that this, this is supposed to be an accumulation of knowledge that was 
you know, we say, we all talk about the Han Dynasty, the Han Dynasty, the Han Dynasty, like we refer the Han Dynasty, like it was the golden era. That's bullshit. It's the Zhou Dynasty that, it's a thousand years beforehand that created all of this. What the people of the Han Dynasty did, they collated it all. But they did not make it up. Mm. Okay, so they're taking everything from the Zhou Dynasty and, and creating a compilation. Which means that the, there was probably someone who thought, oh, pericardium, oh, lung channel. No, nobody, there was no like big to do about heart channel. So whoever compiled the Ling Shu of certain chapters just ignored possibly the, the heart channel. And then later someone else said, oh, wait, wait, but there is here, you know, so there's, it, we were forgetting that it all came from bits and pieces. We're, made, we're treating it as if, Somebody got, you know, did ESP with some Martians <laughs> and came up with this knowledge and it's all like set. Mm. I don't think that was the process. You know, the, the process of compilation was relatively short, -lived. you know. It, it all came together maybe over, I don't know, whatever period of time. But So I think that's why there can be so many inconsistencies and, you know, so you have to look at what can I extract out of it. Yeah. And what I'm extracting out of it is that in the arm, you're, the channel that's going to be most, I don't know if zingy is quite the right one, energetically most active is always going to be the pericardium, sometimes the lungs. Okay, so, yeah, they, they don't show as well on here, but anyway. And then we have the immune point. We choose, so you can choose the immune point to say different things on it. Let me just see that. Yes, yeah, next time I'm not sure. So you know, since large intestine ten has the same name as stomach thirty six, you can decide to call the immune point, you know, uh, large intestine ten. Okay. Uh, there are uh, two Sunleys and two uh, Woolies in the body, and an interesting way, the five Lees, okay. Uh, are kind of forbidden to me that one of them is a large intestine point and one is a liver point. Um, so it, it, they're kind of, the five seem to matter not at all and the three seem to be the big deal. You know, everybody loves large intestine 10, everybody loves um, stomach 36. And then, but if you look, decide to call it, look at it as if it's more related to large intestine 11, it's the bending pond, okay? It's where things, this a pond, it, it, there's water on the left, and it's like where um, things pull into, okay? Now, here are the other pools in the body which make a lot more sense, okay? You have pericardium one, which we see, this is where the heaven pulls down into here, except we have to be upside down to see it. Are you putting okay. it on the side of the nipple, pericardium one? No, oh God, no. Um, <laughs> I'm putting it where you would probably put God about 22. Okay. What's soon from the nipple? Is that a place for a point? That's the TCM. Uh, yeah, the TCM. I know, but oh. <laughs> it's very cute, but it's, it's, it's meaningless. So you're putting P1... I'm putting it... Okay, do you know how stomach 18 is called the root of the breast? Yeah. And it's supposed to be nobody, nobody cares what... You know, it's basically take the breast, man and woman, go to the root of it, that's stomach 18. Go to the root of the breast on the side, man or woman, and that's pericardium 1. So that's why when you press the arm up, that's what you'll feel. There's a dip there. That's where heaven pulls into, into the chest. Okay? Which, by the way, why is it that REN17, very interesting, REN17 is the moo point of the pericardium. And where the hell is the moo point of the heart? Somewhere near the stomach. It's like... You know, because it's the pericardium that creates a lift for for the sternum without the pericardium. Without without a choy in the arm, this is what happens. When there's a choy in the arm, this can open. The heart is not involved with it, that's why the heart is below the siphoid. The heart move point is like in a hidden place, just like the heart channel is in a hidden place. It's kind of interesting just to observe these things, and I don't know how meaningful they are. But you, then you start. You can start making stuff up, okay, or some, something else. They, with the they hid the emperor, didn't they? In Sorry. Chamber. They hid the emperor in ancient chambers, all behind the walls of the courtyards, and maybe that whole hidden thing. Has well, no, you, no. The, the hidden thing is definitely has to do with the heart. That the heart, you never show 
you know, the heart should be protected and hidden. That's, that is very clear why, it's, why the heart is, is shall you and hidden. That, that, that's, there's clarity around that. You know, or at least in my mind there is. Um, but, you know, it's just interesting that it really is the pericardium channel that is the active one in, in the body. That this, this part of the body is just not uh, structurally as uh, active. It exists. I mean, you've, I've never seen a person without this part of the body. I'm just thinking of how the arm chopped out. I mean, so I'm not saying it's useless, but I'm saying it's not anywhere near as active or interesting as this part of the body. So, um, so if you look at, so you have the paradigm one. You have Sanjo four, which they say is the young pool. Don't for, you know? So it's not so clear to me. Then you have the wind pool, which is a little clearer. So the question is, what is being pulled at large intestine 11? Okay, it's, 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 so I believe they're trying to say in some way, this is the pool, this is the place where you can bend, because literally it says bend, so you can manipulate the world. You can, you know, without the other, you can't bring anything in. You can't manipulate the world. You need the wrist, right? You need your finger. But, you know, there's uh, this story about them. In hell, there's the, pe the people, they, their, their, their hands, are, they have such long chopsticks so they can't, um, they can't eat. But, if, but in heaven, exactly the same story, they have very long chopsticks, so what they do is they feed each other because they can't feed themselves with the long <laughs> chopsticks. But it, with elbows, they might be able to. <laughs> so it's, um, it's the ability to manipulate. Okay, I think it's what they're trying to say about the elbow. So it's not, they, it may not say that physically, but I think that the metaphor that they're trying to say is that the elbow allows you to bend and manipulate the world. Okay? The reason why I put see Sanja 22 is because that ability suggests that there's harmony. And remember, Sanja 22 can resolve pressure in a large intestine level, according to the other at least. And sometimes it's true. Um, I use lung 5 a lot. So Sanjo, okay. sorry, Sanjo 22, are, you, are we talking about the immune we'll point between, when uh, you're talking about large intestine and large intestine 11, are you actually talking about the immune yes. point, or are you talking about talking those? the whole area? No, I'm talking about the whole area. Yeah. So it, it, you could talk, take it as a immune point, yes. But the, the Sanjo 22, so if you have pressure pain here on this side of the, I don't know, is that called electron? No, it's called something else, but whatever. If you have pressure pain on the edge of the bone on this side, you want to use the cervical part of the Yamamoto somatotope eye. If you have pressure point on the other side, on the heart side, you're using the cervicals, the Sanjao 8, Sanjao 19 area, which is considered to be a Yamamoto lumbar area. Okay? But quite honestly, most, most um, effective and mo most common is this one okay, with Sanjao 22 area resolving it. Uh, so lung 5, I use a lot for asthma, bronchitis, any sort of lung problems. Most of these lung problems are not going to show on lung 1, lung 2. They're going to show here on the kidney channel because these are the bronchies. For something to reach out all the way to lung 1, lung 2, it's gone way below the bronchies. It's sort of invaded the whole envelope of, of the lung. So it's not so common to see people with lung problems showing pressure pain on lung 1, lung 2, even though officially it should be, because that's where, that's the move point. You know, so we think it should be, but it tends not to. Okay, it is a helper for immune point. It is a good point for autoimmune, because in autoimmune we use kidney and lung. So, and it's a supporting point for kidney, because it's the water point on metal, and metal is mother of water, meaning mother of kidney. So, in a case like pancreatitis, we do add lung 5 to adrenal treatment. Okay? Um, most other adrenal treatments you don't, but if you really want to push the adrenal treatment further, you will add lung 5. And so, this really came from lung 8, would be the next point, but lung 8 is considered a point that increases oxygen in the blood. Okay? Its name. It's the channel ditches. It's kind of suggests that it's, it can penetrate everywhere. You know, uh, like um, there's an herb shishin, you know, that they say penetrates everywhere. Lung 8 is the equivalent. It penetrates everywhere. 
okay? Meaning it increases oxygen supply into the blood so that it can penetrate the nerve. Lung 4, on the other hand, increases the capacity of the lungs to expand. And UB42, oops, sorry. UB42 increases oxygenation both in the blood and in the lungs. It's different. This whole area of the inner border of the scapula has to do with circulation and oxygenation. And UB43 also has to do with genetic disorders. Why? Because the character of one is composed at the top you have one meaning missing or dead or buried or something. Something that enters into something that's concealed and underneath it, you have the character that you have for everything that's in the body. Yo, the flesh character. Okay? So this is something that's in your body that's dead. Who's dead in my body? That still has a shoe point, by the way. Two shoe points, as it happens. It's the it's presumably the ancestors. Okay, so we, you know, it seems to be related to genetic disorders. And do two is another point that I use lots and lots and lots. So in TCM, they use it for epilepsy, but I'm using it really for any spinal problems, okay, but mostly for autonomic nervous system. And I'm checking it against left UB43. Okay. I think that's the end. No, it's not. Okay. So do 13. I don't use it so much, um, but I did put it in here. It relates to, it, it says, you know, it's kind of like um, an easygoing path is what, what the name is. There are other people that translate it to suggest that it, it means, um, oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. But it, to, it relates to easy circulation. The reason I put it in is primarily because people with Renaud's, you can say it's due 14, that's fine. But people with Renaud's, if you heat up this area, the hands will warm up. So it relates to circulation, to microcirculation. Okay? And so sometimes that can be very useful. Um, for other things. It also seems to open the lungs up. It's good for cough also. Can you, can you mock that? Yes, absolutely. If you want. Okay. And then we saw Smytus 910. The name really is not meaningful in any way um, that, that I can say. That I can say. Um, but the point is, it's a great point for, number one, releasing any tension in the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. Um, so if you have tension in the inner border of the scapula, one of the things you might do is do smite test 910 first, then use the inner border of the scapula. It's very good for the autonomic nervous system, okay? Uh, and it's used for shoulders, especially if there's a deltoid involvement. And because of the autonomic nervous system, it's for blood pressure. And smite test 11 we've seen also, so that has a really cute name because it's the heavenly ancestor Okay. And this dom, um, you know, you can talk about it also as dom chi, same thing. The, the, the chest chi is dom chi. Um, on the left side, it's cardiac. On the right side, it relates to digestive organs such as liver, gallbladder, or intestines. Any of them. Okay. And it's also the breast shoe. So we actually saw all of that. Okay. Uh, and that's a picture of swine just near the and finally, Sanjo 22, which is the harmony Yao. And I talked about it yesterday, so any point that has the character Yao, look at it a little bit more seriously, because the Yao is like, it's the, the, on the left-hand side you have bone, and on the right-hand side you have, like, to soar, the sound of the wind. It's like wings or hair flying, making a swish noise. So it's like something's going through the bone and going, Okay. It's like a conch or something like that. It has an ability to emphasize. So yao is not just like some hole in a bone, okay, which is what everybody translates yao as. It's the hole in a bone, like UB31, 32, 33, 34. Four bone holes in a bone. By the way, there's, a, I think, about 12 yaos in the body. There's a fair amount of them. You know, a lot of them are in the face where, you know, you press some of these now and you go, oh, yao! <laughs> you know, it's kind of, it's pretty, there's a clear emphasis that happens in this point. Sanjo 22, in my experience, beside, it, it really can be significantly helpful for any kind of pain in the body. Okay? Um, you know, the name is harm, it has to do with harmony. It's the only point with that character, huh, um, to, to suggest harmony. 
and we're done with all the electro fun, so pretty good. <coughs> hey, what are you yes. talking about Dew 13? Are you talking about the Watteau? Or? Usually when I use a Dew Point, it usually means Watteau, except for Dew 2. Yeah. That does, obviously does not have a Watteau. and gets needed upwards. But generally speaking, when I'm looking at the spine, I, I generally tend to use the Watteau more than the Dew. Abby, on the, on the previous page, it's like, <clears throat> she had uh, hot flushes and stuff with REN17. Yes. How do we get rid of REN17 pain? Especially with this hot flush kind of situation. Well, there's, hold on, there's a difference between hot flushes and, and other. The REN17 supposedly represents anxiety reflex, right? So, your trump card conceivably is pericardium, but it's unfair because pericardium and REN17 are related directly. Mm. So you want to do something else first. So the idea is, before you do, say, your spleen 3 pericardium or whatever, before you do that, I would, for REN17, because it's also a lymphatic drainage point, you want to release the neck. So what you want to do is maybe immune and sun gel 8 to release the neck and see how much is left on REN17. And your second stage will be then you can take, when you take these needles out, then you can do your pericardium. So often for REN17, it's a two stage treatment. When you take those needles out, so you immune Because if I have the these oh, needles in, in like needling pericardium now is not very useful. I do not want to, normally I would needle pericardium first, turn the arm over, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. And needle Sanjo 8 immune if I want to. But if I already, if I want to needle immune and Sanjo 8 first, in other words, clear the lymph system first, clear the neck mm -hmm. first. I can't really turn the arm over unless I pull the needles out slightly first, turn the arm, put the pericardium. You could do that if you just want to do it in all in one. If, when it doesn't, then you keep going. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright. Let's turn you, actually, let's have you sit up first and check your shoulder out. Okay. Diabetes is T11, T12 on the back. Continuation of thyroid is L, L2, T11, T12, T75. So we, basically we can say we'll just treat thyroid because it includes the diabetes, it doesn't matter. Then we wanted to go by the 39. Remember we checked that for her. So let's, oh, sorry, I just, if you lift your belly up for a second. Oh, good. Oh, very good. Any discomfort? No. And not as much as I would have expected in terms of puffiness around T11, T12. Okay. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Okay. No? No. Okay. Fair enough. So we've got nothing to check over 39 again. So all the uh, shoulder pain is gone, is it? Uh, not all, but she said loads better. So go about 39, do two. T11, T12. So, 
the tissue around T11, T12 is so tight that you bend the needle. That's why sometimes using a number three is a little bit better rather than a number one. So I'll be smarter this time. I won't direct it so much up. I'll direct it more in. So because that direction didn't do it. <laughs> so. Gummy areas. Yeah. yeah. That's why on the spine I'm always going like this, because I want to feel the g -g 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 of, the, of the vertebrae and feel which one has weird, the weirdest, um, gummiest area. Rather than go binga, binga, binga. You know, when I go binga, 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 like I did yesterday, that's to find pressure pain that they feel. That's to find a reflex. But if I'm trying to find the point, I'm I'm, I'm just scraping it so I can feel what it, you know. Would you, would you do bladder 43 just because of family history? I'm happy to add, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You would just go, yeah, right, right. You could, no, you could, because, yeah. there, you know, when there's a family history, you can totally go ahead and add you UB43. Um, if they, there's enough findings and you can manipulate, you know, like you can, check it against stuff, then you can check, oh, how important is UB43? She's one of those people that doesn't have enough in terms of uh, findings to do that. But UB43 is very good for deltoid. So therefore, as we're, you know, we'll do that in small intestine 910, you know, with, with the idea of the shoulder maybe being more prominent on this, um, so small intestine 910, that's the sign that's easy. Yeah. But here, so any discomfort? That. There? Okay, good. How is that? Better. Hmm? Better. Better. Yeah. How much is left? Uh, there is still some there, yeah. And now? Same. Now. Okay. So I'm going to do two of them around there. So yesterday, Abby, you did that one there. Was it called Bladder 22? That one. Gold Bladder 22, yes. That, that, that. Oh, with the we, shoulder problem yeah, instead we of GB26. Yeah. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't. We, we could do that with something like this arm. You, you certainly can. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Newton. How are we doing here? Yeah, it hurts. Sorry? Yeah, it hurts. It hurts? Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> sorry. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, here, right? Yeah. Sorry? Better, yeah. How yeah. much is left? Um, not much. Not much, okay. Um, Small intestine 910. I mean, it's, it's pretty much on the body. So I would have maybe taken it further out, but I prefer it on the body than on the arm. You know, the, yeah. not so close to the arm. Is, okay. How's now? Um, yeah, not much left at all. Not much left at all, okay, good. Monsieur. Uh, yeah. 